What's up? Welcome back to another honest review with the questions to the answers that you actually want to hear and not the stats that you can just look up on the internet with all these technical channels. Today, how I chose my running headlamp for trail running, running, and now what I've realized, pretty much anything that I could possibly need light for. Today, I am going to talk about the Fenix, Phoenix, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys. This new headlamp that I just got, this is the HMT5R-T. And before I get into it, I'll just say this. The only word that I could think about to describe this headlamp is aggressive. I, people are like, how's the new headlamp? It is aggressively bright. I have always used just like this little tiny one. And I, I pretty much got a headlamp first when I was uh, ocean fishing off the beach. And it worked really, really nice. But over time, that the headband, it was just time for a new one. And it also had annoying battery life and things like that. This one's also really, really old. So that's kind of why I needed a new headlamp. And I figured if I'm going to do a headlamp, I'm going to go big. I like going big. And I also, I'm not saying I'm scared of the dark, but I'm just not really comfortable running on trails right now when it's super dark. This was always easy because I was always with people fishing, but when you're alone in the woods, I don't know, call, call me whatever you want, but I wasn't super comfortable. So I really, I looked for a bright headlamp and that's really what I Googled. And then of course you get into a bunch of reviews and things absolutely get crazy with the technical. So I'm just going to tell you the things that you really need to hear. 1500 lumens to the average watcher. You don't know what that means. Like I said. Think about aggressively bright, all right? Aggressively, aggressively bright. It's labeled as a high-performance trail running headlamp. It, it, it is that. It is that. So let's talk about, like I said, you can look up the stats on the weight and things like that. I'll give you a realistic perception. Is it heavy? It's heavy-ish. This, it's definitely a little heavy, but after running with it now for a bunch of miles not really that big of a deal. I don't notice it any more or less than I would notice a regular headlamp. People always, uh, some of the critics say that it doesn't have a top strap on the top, which might make it slide down. I frankly, I didn't want that extra strap and I haven't really needed that strap at all. Guys, I've done double unders in this in night workouts. It hasn't slid around. And like I said, it's not that heavy. I said, it's heavy for what it is, but it's not like, oh my God, I have this brick on my forehead that some people make it sound like it is. The adjustment up and down, very, very easy. It, like I said, it doesn't go anywhere. I will say this, I've wore, mostly it's the winter time with like a wool cap on. And I didn't notice until recently when it got a little warmer and I put it on. This isn't really like super comfortable on the head. It's just like maybe a little abrasive. Maybe I just got to make it uh, like work it in a little bit. But that's really the only complaint that I've had is like this isn't really that. It's not rough. Like I don't have scratch. I wore it this morning. I don't have scratches on my forehead. But like when I say I don't notice it, if I did notice it, I noticed this part that wasn't really that soft. I got to say I love the tightening mechanism. One of the most annoying thing about this one was going back and forth between my wife and I. I think that's kind of how it got stretched out. It was just really, really annoying to constantly adjust. For anybody that's ridden bikes or some of the ultra shoes even, they have this awesome tightening clasp. You'll pretty much hear it click. Uh, if I click it up first, that's a click up. And then we click down. And then all it does is twist. And as it twists, it brings in these wires right here, tightens the headlamp, and then you just slide. It... It's great. I put it on my head and then I just tighten it and it's perfect. I've heard it can go over hard hats. I don't know about that, but I put it over my wool cap. When I put it over my wool cap, I have kind of like a biggish head, I guess. When I put it over my wool cap, I do stretch it to its limits, but this is as big as it goes. I maybe have an average size head. I don't know. But even with an average size head, like I said, I click down, boom, boom, and I'm set up. And I give it to my wife. It's fine. And I don't really mind. It's not heavy. <laughs> Everyone says it's heavy. It's If it's too heavy for you, you're not going to like any headlamp. Another thing that I do love about it is it's got USB-C, all right, is the charger. So it comes with a charger, but I know like I hate when some companies have their own like proprietary charging connection. I can use like my MacBook Pro and I could charge this quickly. 
It can get waterproof. I've had it in the rain so much. I don't know if it's waterproof, water resistant. I don't know those technical terms, but I've ran in the rain with it. I think it probably says like water resistant. It's probably got like water resistant up to two meters or something like that, something crazy like that. The battery is rechargeable. It's got like, just like open, it says open. And another great thing about this that I love is it comes with this rechargeable battery, but you can buy a regular battery as backup. So like you don't have to keep buying their rechargeable batteries if you want to operate it. So I'm pretty much going to have this one and then I'm going to have batteries in backup, which I believe if I'm not mistaken, they do give you a battery storage container. They do. So they gave me this battery storage container. It says it stores one of these or two CR123As. And those are the ones you could buy. Inside the box, it also had the directions and it also comes with one extra seal that goes around the battery for the, if that ever goes. So everything nice, compact in the box. It's been awesome. Let's talk about the brightness. The brightness and the hours that they're on. There's two different lights on here you can see. We have, this one is called the spotlight and this one's called the flood. And I thought that I was going to need the spotlight and the flood wouldn't be bright enough. Wrong. When I'm running right now, guys, I am using the floodlight, the smaller of the two lights on the medium setting. And that is more than bright. I frankly, the spotlight, like if you're doing work or something like that, or you're in a cave, or maybe when I get in the really, really dark trails, I might need the spotlight like but that's going to be distance like far any running or even trail running i think the one two three on the side and they say that on the low setting you're gonna get 300 hours to be honest the low setting would be like reading maybe in a tent or something like that or maybe looking at something close up like maybe you're looking at a map or something like that that would be the low setting the medium setting like i said i'm running and then that's like road running when it's dark okay and then when i use the high setting that would be trails I haven't even seen a, a time yet where I might need to turn on the spotlight. When you turn on the spotlight, you can turn them both on, which is really, really nice. You can lock them. So if it's in your pack, they won't turn on. And as far as the battery life, 300 hours on the, on the low setting on this one, 33 hours and 12 hours on high. And then we go to spotlight, like I said, you can look these up. I found them to be pretty accurate. I don't go out for 12 hours at a time but I go out and I run like two hours at a time and I need to charge it every couple of days. So that seems to be accurate. And I'm also doing them in cold winter weather right now. So that's worth noting that usually kills batteries a little bit. But other than that, guys, there's not that much to say. If you need an aggressive light, you can drop this thing. I think it has, you can look at all the stats, everything you can read. What I'm trying to tell you is if you need an aggressive light, like you are maybe uh, even a camper or anything like that around the campsite, aggressive. This will do the deed. If you want to share this with somebody with a different size head, adjustment, it's going to be really, really nice. The band stretches, it's awesome. I think it's like a hundred bucks at this point. This one, yeah, it was like probably $25 and look what happened to it after a couple years. I feel like this is a light that I'll probably have for a, a pretty, a pretty long time. I'll leave a link. You can check it out down in the description below. If you like this review, guys, please give the video a thumbs up. It is a new channel. I will run one mile for every 1000 subscribers I have at the end of 2023. So at least subscribe so that you can punish me if you'd like to. And I'll keep making more of these reviews that, you know, the questions that I wanted to hear. Take it easy, guys. I'll check you on the next review.